Yo, what's up guys? We are back on Pokemon Showdown for our nice Aisha OU Live. <laughs> this is a team I built featuring Reggie Ice. Very interesting Pokemon. Very underrated. You do not see this Pokemon in OU every day. And uh, it does combine good offense with defense. And so this is a uh, Assault Vest Reggie Ice set. So very cool Pokemon. Does have the Bolt Beam, Focus Blast, Hit Power, Fire uh, combination of attacks. So that we can hit a plethora of threats. Next I have a uh, Mega Diancie here. Combine set. You don't see this at all. Uh, too often you usually see the protect set or the uh, the uh, rock polish one so that's gonna be interesting twist on Mega Diancie. Um, Keldeo here to help us with Bisharp, Laddie for defogging, um, well Keldeo also for steals so yeah Jirachi just for also wish passing into Regice and uh, I guess any Pokemon that can't heal which is pretty much Regice, Mega Diancie and Keldeo and finally Elando T just for some rocks um, nice defensive set all out defensive and that's gonna be the team so let's go ahead and uh, find a battle and see how we do. I'm really curious to see how this all plays out as uh, we do get a battle. So let's see. Uh, Reggie Ice does. It kind of puts in maybe. Well, this doesn't do too much work in this lie, in this battle at least. So um, this guy is using 5 out of 6 UU Pokemon. I swear I'm not low on the ladder. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, he might know what he's doing. But I'm going to lead off with Kelio just so that. Uh, yeah, he does lead off with Milotic here. Um, Secret Sword is definitely going to be a 2 hit KO since, of course, Milotic is more especially defensive than defensive naturally. So. I'm um, just going to go for the Secret Sword here as, uh, let's see what he ends up doing. I'm um, going to start a timer as well, so we'll see what happens. We'll see what he wants to do. Uh, he does go into his Victini though, so uh, he probably knew that uh, Secret Sword would do a lot. So I'm going to go into my Lando here. Hopefully he does not have Glaciate or, you know, it's not a special attacking set. As uh, he's going to go for the Zen Headbutt. Ooh. Alright, and um, so I'm going to go for the U-turn here. And... Uh, he doesn't bring in his Gastrodon, so I can go into my uh, my Keldeo. So that Victini is probably Choice Scarf, by the way. So that's good for us. Good to know. I'm going to go for Secret Sword here. So it's probably going to do like 60-something percent as, uh, as... Yeah, it does. <laughs> it does do 60-something percent. All right, cool, cool. Um, yeah, I'm going to go for Secret Sword again. As he does end up staying in, so that's a Pokemon gone. <laughs> that Pokemon is gone. So he's going to go in sh into his Charizard here. Kinda of, not sure if he could be Zard X or Y. Um Y I, I mean I do need my Lando. I feel like I do need my Lando more than I need my Lottie. So I'm gonna go ahead and assume that it's Y. I'm going to my Lottie here. As uh he does Mega Evolve and revealed to be Charizard X, so kind of a threat. I'm not gonna go right into my Lando. I'm gonna go for the Draco Meteor, just sack off the Slotty, then go into my Lando here, which will be able to get off the Intimidate. As uh, I am Rocky Helmet, pretty much max defense, so I can just go ahead and uh Earthquake off here, knowing that I can take a hit. As he decides to go for the Flare Blitz, and um, just take my, just take a Recoil, Rocky Helmet, and the Earthquake. So he's gonna go down. That's a threat gone. Um, very good. And uh, he's gonna bring in his Milotic here. So uh, I'm not sure if he's faster or not. I mean, depending on his set, he might be. But I think the safe play is gonna go into Jirachi because I am specially defensive, so I can easily just go ahead and get off a Wish. Luckily, I don't get burned, which is nice. But Jirachi is not gonna be doing much anyways for this battle. Other than wishing up uh, any Pokemon I need, so he's gonna go for the Skull here. So I can just go ahead and uh, wish into my Keldeo, as I'm able to. Uh, I'm able to do that. As he's gonna go for the Skull here, I can just go ahead and. Uh, oh, well, he he does get the burn. It's kind of unfortunate, but what to do? I'm just gonna go for the Secret Sword. Good 52% damage. As he's gonna go for the recover. Oh come on, he's just stalling. He's just gonna stall me out with his burn, I guess. So um, hopefully I get a crit. Maybe I'm not sure. Uh, but I think I could just go ahead and um, just uh, spam Secret Sword here. I mean, I, I have to switch out at one point, but into Jirachi to wish this thing back up. But he ends up going for the Skull, so I guess he kind of he kind of choked or tried to expect me to switch out here. So um, good for me. Uh, <laughs> he's gonna go ahead into his Victini here, so I can just go ahead into my Lando, knowing that this thing is Scarf, of course. So. Um, Able to get off an Intimidate here. He's going to go for the V-Create, knocking me out. So, he is locked in that I know, um, from what I know of. So, I can go ahead and uh, go into my Diancy here. I should be able to eat up a hit pretty well. Uh, I can just Mega Evolve, go for the, uh, go for the Calm Mind, I think. Should be fine. Because, uh, if he does stay in, of course, I'm going to be able to eat it up. So, we'll see what happens. I'm able to Mega Evolve here. He goes for the, uh, for the V-Create, so... Ah, nice. Able to eat that up, and I can go for the Calm Mind, so now I can just go for the Ancient Power, 
hopefully getting a boost, which I do not. Alright, well, I don't get the boost, so that's okay. I think I can I can, I think I can knock out uh, Milotic anyways with a Moonblast. Just because uh, Combine Mega Diancie is nothing to trifle with. <laughs> He's going to go into Honchkor here for whatever reason. Um, just going to go for the Ancient Power. Yeah, I guess uh, <laughs> I guess he does not have Bullet Punch on Lucario. That's what I was kind of afraid of, was just Lucario having Bullet Punch. But since he's going to end up sacking Conchco and Milotic now, um, he more than likely does not have Bullet Punch on this uh, Lucario. So he's going to bring that in now as his final Pokemon. And I'm just going to go for the Earth Power here, knocking it out. So that's going to be the first game. Ah, uh, not bad. Starting off strong, even though we <laughs> did face a bunch of underrated Pokemon. So I'm going uh, to go ahead and find another battle. As uh, we do get one right off the bat, and um, this guy is using stall. That's kind of uh, <laughs> kind of disgusting, but you know, we got to do what we got to do. We got to play around this. So uh, I think what I'm gonna do here is uh, lead off with. I'm thinking Jirachi, just because um, I'm thinking I can lead off with Jirachi. He might expect me to be Scarf. That's why, because my team looks so offensive. He might not expect my Lando to be defensive and my Jirachi to be also defensive. So I'm gonna go for the Iron Head here, uh, as he does lead off with Chansey. So. Um, that's good for us. So let's see what happens. He's gonna go into his Gothitelle here. So I think now he's gonna probably. I'm gonna go for the Protect just to see what he wants to do. He might expect me to be Scarf. As yeah, he does expect me to be Scarf. So um, he does go into his Skarmory for that very reason. I think I'm gonna go into my Keldeo here. Um, just because he's probably not gonna go for Brave Bird, even if he does have it. So I'm gonna go for that Skull here just to hit him up with a uh, with a nice and powerful attack as. Uh, I can go for that Scald. Yeah, he definitely, he definitely is specially defensive. So um, that spec Scald doing 59% to a Skarmory is definitely specially defensive. So I get Whirlwinded out into my Regi. I'm gonna go for the T-Bolt here as he goes for the Roost. Not a bad play there. Um, I don't want to go for HP Fire. I'm gonna go for the Ice Beam here as he gets up another layer of Spikes and predicting him to want a Roost now. I'm, oh, I'm gonna go for Focus Blast actually. Yeah, I'm gonna go for the Focus Blast as uh, I can predict him to go for the Roost. As uh, I nailed that prediction nicely. <laughs> not bad, not bad. And uh, yeah, now I'm just gonna go. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna go focus blast again. He goes for the iron head. I'm able to eat that up nicely, so that's good. Uh, I think Reggie Ice is putting a bit more work in this battle than the last one, so that's good for uh, for the team. So he goes for the trick here, <laughs> tricking the assault vest. So that's actually good because uh, he's probably like a rest set or something, like you know cop. Trick, rest, combine, and whatnot. So he really just crippled himself. <laughs> That's insane. He really just crippled himself. All right, I'm gonna switch out here into my Lottie. I think just so I can get off a of defog. As um, he goes for the rocks now, so he has got a good amount of layer of hazards. So I'm gonna go for the defog here. Get rid of those hazards, which uh, will be useful as he goes into his T-Tar. So I'm um, not really afraid of a pursuit. Just gonna go into my Lando. As uh, Lottie did his job, so I'm pretty proud of it I guess <laughs> uh, let's see here so ooh, ooh. he's gonna go for the curse I'm kind of intimidated by that actually uh, let's see how much this earthquake does to this uh, Tyranitar as he's gonna mega evolve here I'm gonna go for that earthquake and he goes for the curse again um, hmm. interesting <laughs> I'm just gonna clear earthquake again as uh, let's see what happens he's gonna go for the uh, for the curse once again he's gonna go for the u-turn now as I'm gonna predict and go for the rest here and uh, I'm gonna go to uh, go into my Keldeo here as, uh, yeah, he's gonna go for that rest. I'm not gonna go for Secret Sword. I'm gonna go for the uh, for the Scald here, which should be a two-hit KO since the Sand is gone. And he's gonna go into his Chansey. Um, I guess predicting that. So he does get the burn though, which is kind of nice, I guess. Um, I think what I'm gonna do now is go into my Lottie, I think, or Jirachi, or Lottie. I'm gonna go into Lottie here. Um, as he does get up his rocks, so I'm gonna go for the Psy Shock. Uh, I want to see how much this does to this Chansey. Hopefully, it does like however much it has left of HP. But he goes into his Gothitelle here, so um, I actually don't have to go for Psy Shock. I can probably go for Defunk because he does have an Assault Vest. He will not be allowed to use um, Rest, Combine, etc. So I'm gonna go for that Defog as uh, he does go for that Psychic. Yeah, so I think he is the right set that I thought he was. Um, I'm gonna go for the Psy Shock here, just knocking out this Gothitelle, of course, since. It is a useful Pokemon, uh, a useless Pokemon, <laughs> useless, not useful. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go for the Psy Shock here. It does uh, pitiful damage, <laughs> 27%. Um, I think my best play is probably to uh, go to Kelio, as uh, he's gonna go for the rocks here. 
predicting him to go to Cofagragus, expecting my secret sword. Gonna go for the skull as he does go into that Cofagragus. Not bad. And uh, that's awesome. I can go for the skull once again. As uh, yeah, he just goes into Chansey. I do get the burn. Nice, nice. I can go into my uh, my Laddie here. Because I want that defog gone. Oh, I'm sorry. I want those rocks gone. So I'm going to go for the defog. Actually, I'm going to roost first. I'm going to roost first. Um, or defog. Doesn't matter because this chance is not going to do much to me anyways. I can just go for the roost here. And uh, he does get up his rocks again. I can just defog. As he's more than likely going to attack me with seismic talks or something. As uh, Yeah, he does go for that. So not bad. i um, going to roost off here. And... Uh, he just get up his rocks once again. Let me just defog these off before I switch out. Now he's going to go into his T-Tar. Ooh, interesting. Um, so I'm just going to hard switch right out into my Keldeo. Because, uh, yeah, he is rest, sleep, talk, curse. More than likely going to be crunch. So I'm going to go into my Keldeo here. But it is an interesting set, I have to admit. Um, props to this guy for using a cursed T-Tar. Which, of course, you don't see every day. Um, so yeah, so what I'm going to do now is just going to go ahead and... I'm going to predict his chance, he fire off a secret sword, but uh, <laughs> he ends up staying in and sacking it, so that's going to be nice. Um, and yeah, he did forfeit, so we win the battle. Cool, cool. So let's go ahead and find another battle here. Uh, I'm going to pause until we get one, so I'll be right back, guys. Alright, and we got one. Uh, versus a uh, interesting... Um, well, this team is kind of offensive. Well, not no, not offensive. What am I saying? Uh, balanced. Yeah, balanced. Sort of. Because of the Ferrothorn Clefable. Probably like a defensive Starmie maybe or Rocky Helmet Chomp I don't know um, seems kind of annoying but uh, we'll stand I think no the best word is definitely standard but yeah I'm gonna lead off with my Reggie guys here as he does lead off with Ferrothorn gonna go for that HP fire here gonna be a solid two hit KO on this Ferrothorn good damage good damage alright nice 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 predicting him to go into T-Tar now I'm gonna go for the Focus Blast <laughs> this will be great um, let's go with the focus blast here. No, no! Are you kidding me? <laughs> no, please. That's horrible. That's actually horrible. That would have done a lot of damage to that D-Tar. <laughs> Reggie Eyes, come on. Alright, whatever. Players get lucky. Whatever. Nah, that's all good. Um, yeah, he goes into Clefable as I go into my Keldeo. I'm going to go ahead and switch out here, probably into my Jirachi, since uh, I don't want to uh, risk this Keldeo to a Clefable. So I'm going to go to Jirachi here, as he goes for the T-Wave, so hit me up with some of that yellow magic. Kind of annoying. Um, I'm going to go to my Lando, predicting him to want to switch out into his Talonflame, maybe. As, uh, I mean, hopefully he does go into it. He goes into Garchomp, though. Um... Interesting. So I'm going to go into my Lottie here. Uh, predicting him to want to go for the rocks. Maybe. Um, oh my god. <laughs> I just got blown back. <laughs> this is a Mega Garchomp. With uh, Draco Meteor. I just got blown back. Alright, well. Well now. <laughs> I'm going to go to Keldeo here. And, uh, I guess uh, Hidden Power Bug. Predicting Starmie. As he does go into Starmie. Nice. So I'm able to just outplay this man. I, I have been outplaying him since turn one. But unfortunately that focus blast miss was pretty bad. But it's all good. It happens. Alright, I'm going to go here into my... Uh, hmm. I'm going to go into Lando. going to go into Lando here. Ignore these people. Alright, so he's gonna go for the earthquake here. As I make that nice bit. I'm gonna go into my Jirachi, predicting the uh, Draco Meteor. Uh, I think that's my best play. As uh, he's gonna go for the Draco Meteor, like I expected. Nice, nice, nice. Cool. Um, Alright, cool. Uh, I'm gonna go into my Lando here. Predicting the, <laughs> predicting the earthquake. <laughs> Alright, uh, let's see what happens. As uh, he, ooh, he switches into his Talon Flame. Alright, cool. So, um, that's fine. I can just get up my rocks here. As he's more than likely going to switch out. Probably into his Garchomp. 
since that's really or yeah it's really the only thing he has for this uh this landorus all right so i'm gonna get up my rocks here um i'm gonna go for the earthquake predict uh maybe he might over predict i'm not sure I'm trying to go for the earthquake on the jirachi <laughs> uh let's see what happens though i'm gonna just go ahead and click earthquake here as he goes to the draco meteor so uh we can get off some nice damage here and uh yeah i'm just gonna go ahead and sack this lando off I don't know, maybe I might live, depending on the roll. Um, maybe not. Alright, so, uh, now, what I'm going to do is go into this Keldeo here as, uh... I'm going to just click Scald, I think. Should be my best play. Especially since his Ferrothorn's low, I might be able to burn it with the Scald, so... Going to be especially good for my Mega Diancie. As, uh... That's probably my best play here. And, uh, Mega Diancie should be able to also beat... Should be able to beat his whole team, actually. Uh, he's going to switch out into his uh, Ferrothorn, though. So let's go for the Scald here. As I do get the burn. Nice. Awesome. Awesome. So that does put him in a range for my Scald to be able to knock him out again. I'm just going to go for that right now. Ah, not bad. <laughs> awesome. All right, cool. Yeah, that, Di that Diancy is looking pretty crisp right now. All right, he's going to go into his Clefable. I'm gonna, let's see here. I'm going to click Scald. I'm going to expect it to double out of his Garchomp here. Uh, T-Tar's at full. Um, all right, yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, click Scald here, expect him to double out. Ah, nice. <laughs> Got him. Not bad. <laughs> All right, Clefable's coming back in. I'm gonna go into my. Um... Yeah, I'm not gonna risk a T wave here. I'm gonna probably go into Jirachi. Yeah, let's go into Jirachi here. Yep, Calm Mind here. All right, I'm gonna go for that Iron Head here. Hopefully, I mean, if it does have Flamethrower, it's kind of annoying. Yeah, actually, Calm Mind Clefable is extremely annoying. I need this Jirachi to uh, not get paralyzed at all. Um, I mean, he's already gotten lucky on turn two, so let's just hope that uh, our good plays will be able to uh, tip the scale in our favor. All right, so let's go for that Iron Head here. He goes for the Moonblast, gets the Spideff drop, and the crit, so you can already see what's happening. Um, all right, so we're going to go for that Iron Head here again and again. And, uh, I do get paralyzed. Unfortunate, unfortunate. Uh, and, uh, yeah, that T-Tar would have been gone. Let's see what happens. Uh, I'm gonna go for Iron Head again. Hopefully he doesn't start setting up on me continuously. Hmm. As he does go into that T-Tar... And I do get par Come on. I get, I get par Now I'm going to get proceeded. Just watch. I'm going to get <laughs> Come on. <laughs> All right. Well, Keldeo's back in here. I'm going to go ahead and click Hydro Pump. Got to blow something back now. All right. We, we're not going to miss any Hydro Pumps now. We're going to go hit this thing. Hit him up with the Hydro Pump. There it is. All right. He's going he's gonna to probably bring in his uh, Talon Flame now. But he does not hit. Uh, nope. He brings in his uh, Clefable. Let's blow this thing back with another Hydro Pump. Yeah. He goes with the Yellow Magic here. Let's blow him back with another Hydro Pump. Come on. Hit this man up. He goes with that soft boy. Blow. <laughs> Get a crit. <laughs> Got a crit. Nice. Ah. That's what I like. Yeah, go into your talent plan. Go ahead into that. Hit you up with another Hydro Pump here. Go ahead. <laughs> so it's gone. Get another crit here. There it is. Ah, he went for the SD. Come on. <laughs> go ahead and get blown back. All right, let's go ahead and find another battle. I'm feeling, I'm feeling, uh, feeling a little crisp right now. Let me pause until I get one. Actually, never mind. We got one. Um, all right, cool, cool. This guy is using a uh, five flyings, and uh, huh, interesting. Five flying types and a steel type. Um, yeah, I'm gonna lead off with Regice because, of course, <laughs> Regice is uh, ice type, so. Uh, I'm gonna go for that T bowl here, expecting him to. Uh, I don't know what he wants to do here. Well, Gyarados. If he, if he sets up, yo, if he sets up a Dragon Dance, this thing is gonna just blow this Gyarados apart. Uh, I want to see what happens here. All right, I'm, I'm excited. All right, let's see what happens. Please go for that Dragon Dance so I can show off this uh, this T bolt. All right, let's see what let's see what happens here. Let us see what happens. Look at Garrett, just, just bobbing back and forth with his tail. Yeah, 
Yeah, Red Jace can actually put in a decent amount of work in this game. And he goes for that dragon. Let's see if he knocks it out. Yes! Gone. <laughs> ah. That is what I like to see. Phenomenal. Turn one, Gyarados is just gone. Reggie has, look at Reggie has just putting in work there. Nobody ever uses this Pokemon now. You better all use this Pokemon now. This Pokemon is amazing. There's so much you can do with this Pokemon. Alright, well I'm going to go into my Lando here, predicting his, uh, well, I, don't, I mean, I, yeah, he switches out into his Z-Knight, so that's fine. Um, he's going to probably start Dragon Dancing up and stuff. I think what I want to do is go for the Stone Edge here. I mean... There's not really much this thing can do, even especially since I got off an Intimidate, so I am Max Defense Rocky Helmet, so I'm going to go for that Stone Edge, I think. Should be the best play. The best play that I have. Alright. Let's see what happens. Yep, he's going to go for that Dragon Dance here, and I miss my Stone Edge. That's kind of unfortunate. So I'm going to U-turn out here. Into my Reggie Ice and double right back into my Lando, expecting him to uh, attack me in some form of way. As uh, he's gonna go for the Earthquake here, so that's fine. I can go ahead and hit him up with a. Uh, um, I don't think I want to go for a U turn again. I think I want. Yeah, I think I do. U turn is fine. I mean, he might just Dragon Dance again. Like. Yeah, he might, he might Dragon Dance again. I mean, I think U-Turn is a fine play. I mean, I could also go for Stone Edge, maybe. No, I think U-Turn is fine. As he goes for the Ice Punch, ooh, you don't see that often. You do not see that often in OU. Ice Punch, Dragonite. Um, I can just go right into my... I think I can go to Reggie Ice here. Um, since, of course, he does not have any attack boost, I will be able to eat up a hit, so I can just go ahead and click Ice Beam here, and uh, knock out this Dragonite. And uh, he's gonna go for the Ice Beam, so, oh, I'm gonna go for the Ice Beam, sorry. He's gonna go for the Earthquake. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, that ate it up pretty well. I'm really thinking I can eat up a Stone Edge. I really wanna go for it, but, <sighs> unfortunate, <laughs> unfortunate. Um. Alright, so here, what I want to do is go into my... Probably Keldeo. He might be... Yo, he might be Choice Bandit. What if he's like Choice Band Landorus? <laughs> that'd, be, that'd be insane. I'm gonna go for the Skull here. He has to sack something. He's got absolutely no switch-ins to this Landorus. So, I think my best play is definitely going um, for the Skull here. I should be able to knock out uh, whatever he brings in. He's gonna bring in Scizor. I'm gonna be able to just go for the Skull. and go for it again right now. As he goes for the bullet punch, just sacking his scissor. Now, here's the thing I'm kind of a little bit afraid of. Um, kind of afraid of that thunderous being uh, agility nasty plot. <laughs> because uh, that's going to be kind of threatening. Just kind of threatening. Um, I mean, that landers looks like it's... What if that landers is like rock polish or something? I'm not sure. He might be. I don't know, maybe he could be he could be Bandit. Uh, I don't see anything wrong with Bandit Landorus. Banderous. <laughs> um, or maybe I'm just overestimating <laughs> Reggie Ice too much after seeing what it did to this uh, to everybody's teams except the first guy. Alright, but I think he's gonna bring in his Thunderous. Yeah, he does bring in Thunderous. Okay, cool, cool. Um, gonna go for Scald here, expecting him to want to, uh... Let's see what happens. Alright, wait, 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 wait. Hey, hey, we get the burn, nice. He does go for the agility. Alright, cool. That's actually good for us. It's really good for us. I'm gonna go ahead now and switch into my Jirachi here, because, of course, I'm specially defensive, so, um, unless he starts setting up Nasty Plots, I'm not really too much in a predicament. So, yeah, I'm gonna go into my Jirachi here, as it is my best play. For sure, um... And, uh, he probably did not expect me to, uh, to stay in. So he's probably a little bit baffled right now. I wouldn't be surprised. I mean, 
I'd probably be baffled too <laughs> if I was him. All right, well, I'm gonna go for the wish here. As yeah, he does nasty plot, so I'm gonna be able to eat one up. I can just go for an iron head here, and uh, yeah, that T bolt did about yeah 64%, not bad. So I can go ahead and wish up. As uh, now, let's see what he wants to go into. Okay, so that ch if it's Char X with Dragon Dance, definitely a threat. Um, if he's anything but Bandit Landorus, because this I know that Landorus is definitely max attack. If he's anything but Bandit Landorus, that might be threatening, actually. It might be very threatening. We'll see what happens. I think I can play around it as, uh, let's see what he ends up going into here. So, um, he's going to bring out his Lando. So, what I could do now is just go ahead and protect, see what he wants to do. And he is Rock Polish. Ooh, that's very, uh, <laughs> threatening. I'm going to go for the, uh, Toxic Air. Yep, he did go for the SD. Like I expected, so I'm gonna go ahead and um, I can go to my Lando here, predicting the earthquake. Um, I could do that, I think. Yeah, or hmm. Actually, I'm gonna go for the protect because uh, I, that means that just means I do get an extra turn to uh, stall out protect. Oh, so let me start stall out uh, for toxic damage. So I should be able to just go ahead and protect here. As, uh, yeah, I think Protect is my best play. As, uh, he's going to go for the SD, predicting the Protect, showing off his, uh, his dominance, I guess. <laughs> I'm gonna go to my Lando here. As, um, he is going to go for the Stone Edge. Alright, good, good play, good play. I'm gonna go into my Jirachi here, as I can go ahead and hit him up with a Protect once again. And, uh, Yeah, I think we're in a good position. I think we're in a marvelous position right now. Absolutely phenomenal. Yep, and go for the protect here as he's gonna go for the earthquake. Now I can just go ahead and switch into my Aladi. Expecting him to probably earthquake here. He's not gonna over predict, I think. Yeah, he just goes for the earthquake here. Now I'm gonna go right back into my Jirachi, expecting him to want to uh, stone edge me now. And, um,. Yep, he does go for that Stone Edge here, as what I can do is uh, double right back into my... Oh, triple, sorry. <laughs> I'm going to go ahead for the triple switch right back into my Laddie. Ah, he doesn't go for his Charizard. I'm going to go for the Psy Shock here, expecting him to want to sack his Lando. And um, because he probably wanted me to go for the Draco so that he could try to set up with Charizard. But now, he does have his Charizard left, which means I can go for that Draco. It is definitely an Oko on... Um, regular Charizard. If he Mega Evolves into Char X, that's going to be a uh, one KO as well. So, it's looking like game. So, that's going to be, uh, that's going to be that, I think. Nice and solid amount of battles, I guess. But yeah, it's not over yet. I mean, we could, we could potentially miss Draco Meteor, so. And if we do, we do have the Diancie to kind of check him. Yep, he's probably just doing a little calc right here. Like, I, I'm surprised I find these players when I'm, like, decently high on the ladder. <laughs> I'm, like, I'm almost 1700 right now, I think. Like, 1690, 1680-something, I think. Just by, like, since I, I'm pretty sure, since we, since we didn't lose a battle at all. Yeah, we were able to knock it out. Nice, yes. Yeah, like, since we didn't lose a battle, I'm pretty sure we jump up to, like, 16 something R really high 1600s right now oops my bad uh <laughs> accidentally click refresh um <laughs> sorry sorry right, let's get out of here um yeah so close these weird stuff all right whatever uh hope you guys enjoyed this live <laughs> and uh yeah let me know what you guys think about uh reggie ice and it was a fun pokemon it did put in a lot of work and uh was very surprised that it did but it did and uh it was a pretty fun live nice ice team so yeah hope you guys enjoyed and uh, I will see you guys on the next one. Peace, guys.